right, man, I seen uh, some Detroit writers have some uh, <clears throat> media notes from Dan Campbell's press conference. He said that the loss of Cam Sutton, you know, uh, gives the Lions the urgency to find another corner to replace him. I mean, which we all thought they should have before they got rid of him, but hey, it is what it is. Also says that they're looking to add a safety and also reveals that Brian Branch may play some safety this year. So um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. So um, let's talk about Brian Branch. I'll be sure to show him. That means that maybe they uh going to play Amic Robinson at the nickel and maybe move Branch to the safety a little bit. And then, you know, last year, if you really looked at it, they lose Melifano as a utility player. I mean, he guarded guys on the outside, which he's naturally a corner. He's guarded the nickel. He played coverage. He played man on bigger tight ends. So you might see more of a positionless type secondary there. You might see Amic at, and, at the nickel. You may see Brian Branch. You know, um, at the safety spot, you might see Melifano just be a utility player, you know, uh, corner sometime, nickel sometime, safety sometime. You're going to see Kirby be the, the the free safety, more the coverage safety roaming around. But if they're looking to add another safety, then, um, you know, I don't think it would be Justin Simons. You know, I think they're going to roll the dice with Kirby Joseph, Melifano, and Brian Brant. So, um, it'll be interesting to see how they're going to use uh, Brian Branch and how, you know, what they're going to do as far as adding another safety. I don't expect it to be a big time safety, but, you know, if it is, you know, if you was to bring in Justin Simons, that means that more than likely you're probably going to see uh, Branch stay at the nickel back spot. You're probably going to see Malafano just continue to um, just be a utility uh, DB, and, you know. Simmons and Kirby Joseph do their thing. I think that's what you're eventually going to see. So, um, but yeah, it should be interesting. But hey, um, you know, the loss of Cam Sutton, now they looking to add another corner. I don't think that changes their draft plans. I think they board is their board. They go with BPA, best player available. So do you look at Stephon Gilmore? Do you look at Xavier Howard? You kick the tires on those guys. It's the question. And then you go, you know, ask Aaron Glenn and, you know, the new DB coach. Is it the Jay Townsend? I uh, used to play for the Steelers. Now you got to go ask them if, you know, they fit what you do. And if, and if you were to get Xavier Howard or um, um or or a Stephon Gilmore, then more than likely you probably still going to be wanting to look to draft a corner or get a young corner in the next couple of years. So it could look as far as, you know, Carlton Davis, who been banged up, you know, Xavier, you know, let's say Amick Robertson. I mean, it is what it is. Dumb, dumb, you know, two top two corners right now. Amic Robinson is, is a nickel by trade. You know, so at the end of the day, yes, you need another corner. If it's a young guy and he can battle with Amic Robinson for the main position, cool. You can live with that because, you know, if he loses to Amic Robinson, guess what? He can continue to get better and better and better through the season. You know what I'm saying? You know, do you do a situation where you bring in a veteran and still draft a young guy? I don't see in that situation unless you really got that young guy very, very high on your board. How that happens, you know what I'm saying? Last, you know, so if you like, oh man, you know, uh, Nate Wiggins, we go get him. I don't see them moving up or him falling there. And if he fall, of course you're gonna take a guy like that or take the kid from Toledo. You know, of course you're gonna take those guys. They fall to you. You know, you just worry about where the chips fall, where they they would fall, where they may uh, fall because you get a, one of them two veteran guys. And Xavier Howard's only 30. But you give them a veteran guys, you know it's a means to an end. They come in here to win football games. They come in here to win, trying to win a Super Bowl. So the young guy will be able to learn behind them. And then, you know, Carlton Davis, you know, he got injury history. You get an older corner. They may need some time out. So, you know, the depth that you got between two veteran corners, you know, um, Amic Robertson, uh, you know, whoever the young guy you bring in, it's very, they become very important. You know, they become very important, man. So, um, so yeah, you need depth, you know. So you dealing with Carlton Davis who got a lot of injury his got a lot of injury history, just nagging injuries. You know, you get a Gilmore, Xavier Howard, you know, now you you know, Amic Robinson, fairly young and spry. Now you you know, you go get you another young guy, another young and spry guy. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a better unit. Um, young guy can continue to learn. Amic got a lot of experience inside, outside, so you got a nickel. Don't forget you got Melifano who can who can guard who can guard receiver. So it's a lot of versatility out there. Brian Branch who can play safety, who can play nickel. So yeah, I would have, I probably still would advise they probably still need to get two guys at corner. You know, they still need two. You know, somebody you really, really like. Uh and maybe they like Vidor, maybe they like uh, Stefan Stephon Gilmore, little brother. 
enough where they can develop. But I think when you're dealing with, with older guys, you need some young guy to go with Amick Robertson that's just, you know, full of talent behind them. So we'll see what they what they um you know, what they obviously do what they do there, um, to be honest. So that's to be the mystery. I think a lot of people thinking that corner corner, even with Cam Sutton. Cam Sutton gave them ability probably to go draft a corner at some point in the draft and him learn behind them. And then Amic Robinson gave you a little bit of a safety net. Vidor or or Gilmore gave you a little bit more of a safety net there. But now without Cam Sutton there, you know, I think it's time to add this. I think you want to add a veteran. And Gilmore's still out there. If it ain't going to break the bank, and I know if it ain't going to affect the extensions, him or Xavier Howard, whoever fit the bill better. And I still think you go out there and get somebody young, to to be the protege so um but as far as safety you know justin simons he's still out there i just think you got a wealth of of a lot of young and sprock safeties out there and guys i mean you got three capable guys melifonu branch and kirby who can uh you know all play the safety position so i mean if you know justin simons want to come here and you can make the money work hey you make it work he's he takes the ball away you know kirby joseph takes the ball away melifonu take the ball away Brian Branch has some success at taking the ball away. So the more guys you got in the secondary that can ball hawk and take the ball away, you find a way to make it work, you know. You find a way to make it work if you have to. But I don't see them going that more, you know, uh, you know, extravagant in safety. But, you know, if he's still out there, why not see what, what, it, what it do, you know. But I think Gilmore, Xavier Howard, more of their speed and, or, you know, bringing in a young guy or both. So, um but yeah, man, you know, uh, but yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, a lot of fans just wanted Cam, Cam Sutton cut. He gave him a reason. Sometimes you just got to give a person a reason why. And a lot of times your emotions get the best of them. You give that person what they're looking for. You give them people what they're looking for. You know, and it's unfortunate. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, man, all all interesting things, and we don't know what they got working on behind the scenes. And, and obviously, they see things a lot different. They kind of reach out to these guys, and maybe these guys not interested. Maybe they price point a little bit too high. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But you know, if these guys still out here, man, they they price point dropping by the daily. And I think Jadavion Clowney still out there. I don't know what's wrong with him, man. Go back to Baltimore. That's the perfect fit for Jadavion Clowney. Go back to Baltimore, prove yourself another year. Somebody be stupid enough to pay him a bunch of money after that. But hey, check out Detroit Lions Talk Playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, X, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. All my information is in the link tree. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.